Hey friends, it's your girl, Onika Alexandria, once again with a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the rubber band method for single braid. I personally cannot do hair. I'm so bad at it, I feel so bad for my daughter growing up because I can't, I can't plait, I can't braid, I can't curl, I can't do none of that. So, my poor baby already. The back of my hair is a absolute mess. The growth in the back of my head is ridiculous and I have like, I want to say at least a good two inches of growth. So I want to do the last two rows of braids on my hair over again. Since I can't single braid, I figured that the rubber band method would probably be the easiest way for me to get this done. So. I did look it up on YouTube to see how it's done. I did do some research. I had to do some research to know what exactly to do. See, you will need your rubber bands. I'm just using some plain black rubber bands. It came in this kit, you know, a whole bunch of rubber bands. Of course, you will need a comb. It's missing a tooth and this one broke, but we still gonna use it. It's still gonna be good. You're also going to need your DIY anti itch scalp relief you're going to use this to take out the previous braids that way you can also moisturize your scalp one time you know you know and if you haven't checked out this video before don't you worry don't you fret i'll link the video down below finally what you're going to need is your hair this is the hair that i will be using it is the super braid extra tease this is 100 percent Connectlycon fiber. Now the reason why I chose this one is because this is the one that the stylist told me to get. And if you don't know about that video, go ahead and watch the first video. <laughs> you will know all about it. <laughs> all right, but the color that I got was a T1B blue. This is the hair, and I'm not too sure if you guys can see it, but that's the blue on the tips, on the end, and it's black on top. My friend did use some of this to redo my front of my scalp, so that's why I don't have a full pack, but this will be fine. As you can see, I took out one of the braids because it was, it was like literally slipping out. Now, <laughs> if you haven't watched my horror story about the time when I went to go get a silk press, but instead she cut off my hair, please go watch that video because this makes me want to cry it makes me cringe and wants to bore tears i know i already went through this but i'm still in this relief because this is the first time i've seen my hair since september anywho it's here it's gonna grow back right i'm gonna take out the rest now so in this braid you guys can possibly see how much new growth i have you can also see that the braid is much thicker than the part from my hair and I'm afraid that it's actually breaking off my hair, so that's why I want to take it out and redo it as well. Now, if you want to save the braids, you can simply just start coming out from the bottom. I like to use the baby end, like the baby tooth end, and then you just want to stick it in between the braids and then get it out. So now the beginning is going to be really hard to do. Ooh, child, I can't do this for too long because that's that's too many braids. So I'm just going to use my handy dandy scissors and cut them at my desired length. I need my hair. My hair is out. And then we just want to use our fingers, going back to our fingernails, and just taking it out. Look, look how much quicker, easier, and faster that is. Then we're going to use our anti-itch scalp relief. And then we're going to spray it on the new growth. Massage it into your hair strands from roots to tip. Now taking out all of the braids from the back two rows, and this is what I have. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to part this into four equal parts. Now that I have it sectioned off into four equal parts, what I'm going to do now is take my braids. This amount equals to about a quarter of the pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this into two equal parts. Then I'm going to separate that again into two equal parts as well. This is the tricky part. <laughs> All of that before was easy. This is tricky from my understanding you're gonna take a third of the hair you're gonna crisscross them over then the third is going to become one this will be one 
this would be one and then that's another one so you have three I don't know exactly how we do this now but we're going to try to do it I don't know how to hold this properly but what I see my sister do is like hold it like that so my middle finger is in between the two right at the connection point I don't know if that's gonna work but that's always how I see my sister hold it so I'm gonna try to do it that way and see so I don't even know what I'm doing taking my hair and the third and combining them it's so hard. Oh my god. How do you do this? Alright, so back there. Okay, so my hair and the third is twisted together so it comes one and two. Three. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's bulky though. It's it's bulky at the top. But you know what though? I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. I'm so happy. doing it oh my god I'm actually doing it it's not the neatest it's not the greatest but I'm doing it <laughs> yeah girl your friend your friend your friend is doing it it's doing it ah, ah. oh it keeps getting stuck to my Look, that's my freaking hair. Uh, should I really, um, yeah. Now that I'm all the way back up here, make the thirds, separate my hair so it's not one big lump. All right, your girl is done. I have my four rubber band singles officially in my hands are cramped they're definitely not the prettiest they're definitely not the neatest but they're done i had such a hard time trying to connect the braids so if you have any advice how to make that easier go ahead and leave a comment down below i will be answering them back thank you guys for watching this video and thank you for sticking with me and your girl can now do her own hair whenever she needs to Aren't you proud? Cause I'm proud. I don't know if you know, but I post every week, Sundays at 5 p.m. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So you can come back and watch another video with me, your girl, your friend, Onika Alexandria. All right, friends, so that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. As always, with love, bye.